George MacReady, a distinguished figure in classic Hollywood cinema, left an indelible mark on the film industry through a career characterized by versatility and depth. When reflecting on his legendary works, one may ponder which among them truly defined his career. Was it his compelling portrayal of Balin Munson in Gilda, or perhaps his nuanced performance in The Big Clock? MacReady's ability to inhabit a range of characters set him apart from his contemporaries in the era. What distinguishes him is not just his distinctive voice and commanding presence, but the ability to infuse each role with a unique authenticity. In an era populated by remarkable talents, George MacReady managed to stand out by bringing a sophisticated complexity to his characters. His performances were not confined to a singular genre or type showcasing a versatility that resonated with audiences. Whether embodying a cunning villain or a morally conflicted protagonist, MacReady brought a level of depth that elevated the narratives he graced. Reflecting on the legacy of George MacReady inevitably leads to personal memories and experiences. What stands out is the most cherished memory or personal encounter related to this classic Hollywood actor. We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below, celebrating the enduring impact of George MacReady on the silver screen. George MacReady, a notable actor in the mid-20th century, had a penchant for mysteries that extended beyond the screen. Renowned for his roles in Commando's Strike at Dawn and The Return of Count Yorga, a curious coincidence marks his journey. In his debut film, he portrayed a schoolteacher uttering the words, I'm writing a novel myself, while his final movie saw him as a professor, concluding with the line, You haven't read my book. Beyond the silver screen, MacReady formed a lasting friendship with Vincent Price during their joint stage performances in Victoria Regina alongside Helen Hayes. Vincent Price expressed admiration for MacReady in a letter, referring to him as a swell egg, and expressing gratitude for their professional collaboration. MacReady's off-screen passion for mysteries, reading novels while simultaneously tuning into mystery radio shows, added an intriguing layer to his persona. This actor, with a penchant for the enigmatic both on and off the screen, left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. In 1943, George MacReady, alongside Vincent Price, ventured beyond the realm of cinema. The duo opened the little gallery in Beverly Hills, attracting a distinguished clientele that included Charles Lafton, Talula Bankhead, Barbara Hutton, Fanny Bryce, Catherine Hepburn, and Greta Garbo. Vincent Price fondly recalled Garbo's discreet visits, stating she dropped in to look, and, if anyone else was looking, dropped out quickly. The gallery became a hub for socializing and mingling, a unique haven that eventually closed as their movie careers demanded undivided attention. George MacReady, beyond his on-screen enigma, left a mark not only in cinema but also in the vibrant social circles of Beverly Hills. George MacReady, the master of on-screen villainy, had a surprising passion beyond his menacing roles. Teaming up with his close friend Vincent Price, both renowned for their wicked portrayals, MacReady delved into the world of art collecting. Together, they co-owned a Los Angeles art gallery, attracting notable figures like Charles Lafton, Talula Bankhead, Barbara Hutton, Fanny Bryce, Catherine Hepburn, and Greta Garbo. This unexpected venture showcased a different side of MacReady, revealing a cultured taste beyond the silver screen. The gallery, a hub for the elite, eventually closed as their film careers demanded undivided attention, leaving behind a unique chapter in MacReady's life. Graduating from classical high school in Providence, Rhode Island, and later earning his degree from Brown University in 1921, George MacReady's early academic years hinted at a path less trodden. Notably, he was initiated into the Beta chapter of Delta Phi fraternity during his university days in 1918. However, MacReady's journey took an unexpected turn beyond his educational pursuits. Contrary to his menacing on-screen persona, MacReady showcased a different facet of his interests. In 1920, he earned a varsity letter in football at Brown University, not as a player but as the manager in intriguing deviation from the typical sports narrative. This early foray into management hinted at his ability to navigate diverse arenas, a skill that would later find expression beyond the gridiron. MacReady's life unfolded beyond the confines of academia, paving the way for a career in the arts that went beyond the silver screen. Partnering with his close friend Vincent Price, known for their wicked portrayals, MacReady delved into the world of art collecting. 
Co-owning a Los Angeles art gallery, they attracted notable figures like Charles Lafton, Talula Bankhead, Barbara Hutton, Fanny Bryce, Catherine Hepburn, and Greta Garbo. This unexpected venture showcased a cultured taste beyond his on-screen villainy. The trajectory of George Macready's life, from academic initiation to football management, and eventually to the realms of art collecting, paints a picture of a man whose interests extended far beyond the expected. This multifaceted journey, marked by unexpected turns, adds depth to the legacy of a figure known not just for his on-screen enigma but for the layers that unfolded off-camera. Claiming lineage to the renowned 19th century Shakespearean actor William Macready, George Macready brought a distinctive heritage to his career in mid-20th century cinema. Beyond the screen, he immersed himself in mind-challenging games, finding joy in deciphering cryptograms, and creating crossword puzzles. His eclectic interests extended to art collecting, with a penchant for works by Henry Mattis, Auguste Renoir, and Vincent van Gogh. Family played a crucial role in his life, as he was a father to three children, Michael, Marcia, and Elizabeth. This multifaceted persona, rooted in a prestigious lineage, intellectual pursuits, and familial connections, adds depth to the legacy of a figure known for his on-screen enigma. George Macready's journey, from claiming a theatrical ancestry to engaging in cerebral hobbies and maintaining a family, reveals a man whose interests spanned far beyond the cinematic realm. In 1934, the Brown University alumni newsletter reported George Macready's ongoing theatrical pursuits alongside Catherine Cornell and Romeo and Juliet and the Barretts of Wimpole Street. His commitment to the stage was not a fleeting affair. Even in 1960, Macready highlighted two of his favorite TV roles in The Diamond as Big as the Ritz and Thunder in the Night. This enduring dedication to performance showcased his versatility beyond the silver screen. Adding a familial dimension, George Macready's legacy extends to being the grandfather of U.S. gymnast John Macready and actor Oliver Macready, the latter carrying the name Oliver George Macready. Beyond the theatrical realm, Macready's impact on future generations echoes through his family tree, contributing to a broader narrative of his influence. These lesser-known facets of George Macready's life shed light on a man whose commitment to the arts and entertainment spanned generations. From the provincial stages of the 1930s to the evolving landscape of television in the 1960s, and the familial connections that endure, Macready's legacy is a testament to a rich and varied career. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the life and work of the remarkable actor George Macready, we implore you, cherished reader, to pause and reflect on the tapestry of emotions woven by Macready's performances. Each role, a brushstroke on the canvas of storytelling, invites introspection. What memories, what impressions linger in the recesses of your mind, stirred by Macready's nuanced portrayals? We encourage you to share the echoes of your personal connection with this luminary of the silver screen. Did Macready's commanding presence in the classics resonate with your own experiences? Were you captivated by the subtle dance of emotions in each carefully crafted scene? Your thoughts, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, contribute to the collective appreciation of George Macready's artistry. In this virtual agora of shared sentiments, we celebrate the threads of connection that bind us through the timeless medium of film. So, lay bare your reflections, recount the scenes that left an indelible mark, and let the legacy of George Macready resonate in our shared consciousness. As we draw the curtain on this cinematic sojourn, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest. Actor George Macready, with his indomitable spirit and unparalleled talent, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Your participation in this collective reflection adds depth to the narrative and enriches the legacy of a true maestro. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of George Macready's cinematic legacy, and we look forward to hearing the symphony of your thoughts and memories. Until our paths cross again in the realm of storytelling, this is farewell and nod of appreciation to the timeless impact of George Macready on entertainment.